Hi, and welcome to Three Things in Three Minutes. I'm Nursi. Today we are talking about Rise of Tribes from Breaking Games. It plays two to four players and it plays in 30 to 60 minutes. And this is a light civilization game, 4X game, in which you play one of several um, prehistoric fictitious tribes and you're trying to spread out over a modular board placing out your tribe's members, gathering resources, and ultimately trying to build villages or make developments or accomplish objectives, all of which will get you points and to, uh, you're trying to be the first player to get 15 points. And the core of this game is a dice selection mechanic. And you roll a couple dice that have blank sun and moon faces. To take an action, you add your die to uh, the couple most recent dice already placed on those actions. And you can either take a basic action or if you have a lot of suns, you can take a better version of the action or if you have a couple moons, you take a worse version of the actions. And so things I like about this game, I think the most interesting aspect of this game is the action selection mechanic. There's a certain strategy to it where when you're laying out dice, if you're laying out a sun die, you're not only taking a good action, but you're actually setting up the next player to use that sun and also be able to take a good action. And it also helps to mitigate some of the randomness of the die rolls because you'll see where you're going to be adding it to. So it's not just dependent on your die roll, but the rolls that came before it. Also, uh, this is a pretty easy to get into, light 4x kind of game, and I like that the sieve tree is not overwhelming. You just have a stack of cards for your tribe, and then you draw a few of them at a time, and it tells you what technologies are available to you. And there is a way uh, through one of the actions that you can uh, go through the deck and uh, sort through and get. If you don't like some of them, you can get uh, some different ones as well. The game also includes a bunch of mini expansions in the box to uh, keep the game fresh uh, for a long time, and it has really great components, especially if you spring for the deluxe upgrade. A few things to consider about the game. Uh, the game seems to rely somewhat heavily on where you are in turn order. Uh, some of the uh, developments that you get um, come from event tiles and some of the events are harmful and some of them are beneficial. So depending on whether the event happens on your turn or on the player turn after you, you it may or may not affect you at all uh, by the time it gets around to your turn. Also, the combat is deterministic. So if you are a fan of just pretty straightforward combat, uh, units will basically destroy each other on a one-to-one -one basis. If you like that, that's great. If you want a little bit more strategy or uh, randomness to your combat, then you might not particularly enjoy that as uh, much as well. Um, so, in summary, it is a great dice action selection light 4x game uh, that with the dice mechanic that adds a good layer of strategy to it. Um, there are several really nice expansions that come in the box. Uh, just uh, know that the combat is pretty deterministic, but the turn order does factor in a lot to the game. Thanks so much for watching, and please comment and subscribe.